Let's start with a brief introduction to the concept of objects in JavaScript. Objects are essentially a collection of multiple values. Uh, you can have values and variables which are primitives, like a number or a string or a boolean, or you can have something like an object which kind of bundles multiple values. And um, you can put a lot of uh, other values in an object, like uh, an object itself, you can have an array, you can have a function. So an object is essentially a collection of multiple values. And the collection is typically something that makes sense. It's, it's a thing like, uh, a house, a person, or an account, or something like that, which contains multiple properties. So an object can be created in multiple ways in JavaScript. The simplest way is to create an object inline. So you say var my obj equals open close curly brace. So with this, I have essentially created an object inline. And I'm doing this using the open and close curly brace. And this is an empty object because there's nothing between the open and the close curly brace. So my object is essentially an empty object. If I were to do console.log, and uh, if I were to run this, I'm going to get an empty object here. Similarly, I can type this in the console here directly, and I'm going to get an empty object. I can add properties to this object by doing a my obj dot foo equals value. So what this does is basically create a property called foo on the object my obj and it's going to set the value of that property to a string which is value. All right now I can access that property by doing my obj dot foo and it's going to get me that value. Right? I can add more properties like this. Uh, the thing to remember about objects in JavaScript is it's not class-based, so there's no blueprint that every object needs to adhere to. I can create any property on any object whenever I want, and there are no restrictions. Uh, there are no data type restrictions as well, so I can easily change my obj.foo to be a number over here, and then that's going to be a number. So there are it's a, objects are essentially free form, and I usually tend to think of them as key value pairs. Uh, you know you're familiar with the concept of maps. Hopefully, a map is basically a key uh, containing a value. So an object is essentially like a key value pair. Uh, there are other ways in which you can create objects. So this was the inline empty object, but let's say I want to create this value up front with the property. So I can say something like this: foo, and then assign it value. You can have uh, age assigned to the value 30, address which can be a nested object inside. I can have a uh, street all right so I have an address with a uh, with a street city and pin codes so an address is a nested object over here so I can basically create the object in line with all the values set. So if I were to reload and run this, now if I were to access my obj, I'm going to get that fully formed object. All right. Uh, the other important thing to remember is that you can access properties on objects by using the dot notation or the square bracket notation. So I can access the foo property on the object by doing my obj dot Foo, we've already seen this. But the other thing we can do is use the square bracket notation, which is something like this. I can add the double quotes and then send the string, which is the property, in uh, you know surrounded by double quotes and then send it to a square bracket. And then I hit enter, it's gonna get the same value. So this is what's referred to as the bracket notation, whereas this is referred to as the dot notation. They're essentially the same. All right, so this was a quick introduction to objects in JavaScript. Again, I, I encourage you to refer to the uh, JavaScript for Developers course, where I cover some of the more basic features of objects and how to play with them and uh, some of the intricacies of dealing with objects in JavaScript. As we continue this course, I'm going to assume that you're comfortable with uh, JavaScript objects.